how you can download the files from the server so let's say you have ubuntu server somewhere in the digital ocean or aws and you want to download some files from the server how exactly you can do that okay let me show you the simplest way possible first of all you need to open the command prompt which is cmd in the windows right here and you need to do login into the uh, server in my case i'm going to use ssh root at and i need to paste the ip address so here remember ssh is the tool root is my username to the server in your case it can be ubuntu it can be sent os or it can be any username and this ip is my server ip so let me enter my password right here and once i enter the password it will give me access to the my server let me clear the terminal right here and now let's say if i do ls these are the files that are present in my uh, server okay so how exactly i can download this file well there are two ways let's say you want to download only new text document.txt then it's quite easy you can just download it in one go but in your case like if you want to download all of the file then what do you need to do you need to create the zip of that particular file okay how is it you can do zip dash o and let's say out dot zip which is going to be output and i want to create a zip file of these two files so i'll just paste these files right here and it will create the zip file but looks like that zip function is not installed so let me install using apt install zip and it should not take too much time okay so now the zip is uh, almost installed let me install uh, let me clear the terminal right here and now execute the exactly same command that i want to execute before so when i hit enter can you see it is saying adding into the zip and if i do ls the out.zip is there now the command you need to use is python 3-m http dot server okay that's the command and it will give you something like this okay this is the 0, .0, 0.0 and port 8000 okay so that's a basically address where you want to go first of all you need to copy your uh, ip address of the server in your case like you don't know ip address then you can do curl ipconfig.io this will show you ip address of the server and uh, let me start that python server one more time let's go to the browser right here and here you need to go to the browser and type paste the ip address and type 8000 which is port 8000 and if you hit enter can you see it is showing all of the files including that zip file that i want to download right if i click on zip file it will be automatically downloaded if i, it, I can click on the save and it will download the file okay but this method is not secure as it is exposing all of the files on the internet as long as you are downloading it okay and once i hit ctrl c it will exit it will not show the files anymore okay see it is still buffering okay so this is how you can download the files on the windows server sorry uh, from the linux server to the windows pc but remember this is less secure method it's not completely secure method it's less secure method why because it is exposing your files on the internet while you are downloading those particular files if you want more secure method then you can use sftp or you can say ftp connection right